What's up guys, JP back at you once again, bringing you day number 16 in my 5th annual 31 Days of Horror. This is a series in which we watch and review 31 horror films in 31 days, all during the month of October, leading right up to Halloween. And of course, this year we are tackling 2016 films, and continuing along, we have The Monster. Now this film was directed by the same guy who brought us The Strangers, very good film from 2008, and then his sophomore effort in 2014 was a film called Mockingbird Lane, which I did review on one of these 31 Days of horror a couple years ago not very good so what do we have with the monster well it's a lot better than mockingbird lane and this film follows a woman and her daughter who are traveling down a rainy road when they accidentally wreck their car from a wolf in the middle of the road uh, there they begin a fight for survival against the monster what the monster is i'll let you guys uh to, you know check out the film and and see that for yourselves uh, so that's basically the core, you know, narrative. It's a contained horror film, which I like to call it, you know, survival horror. Uh, some of my favorite type of horror, but it's also a drama. And it's a very decent film as a drama. Uh, the relationship between the mother and daughter is very complex. There is a mother who is a young mother. She, you can definitely tell, uh, I don't think they say specific age, but you can tell that she's a very young mother, had the daughter way too young. And the daughter is, I don't know, maybe like 10, 11, 12. I'm not really good with ages. So uh, she's, she's you know, young. And they, their relationship is very interesting because the mother is a drug addict. And anybody who has dealt with s substance abuse or has been, you know, affected by substance abuse from loved ones or, or family members instantly will get what this film is saying. Like... The performance and the accuracy depicted in uh, the outbursts and the communication and the outcomes of situations involving, you know, drug addicts is on point. It's it's absolutely some of the best uh, versions or you know interpretations of substance abuse that I've seen on film. It's very good. Uh, it, it, and more, not necessarily the substance abuse itself, the drug use, but sort of the outcome of it. Uh, great, great, great stuff there. Now that's kind of whittled throughout the film. It's not like a, you know, main, you know, giant long, you know, part of the film, like where you see this at the beginning. Like it, it's kind of peppered throughout, like in, in sort of like flashback scenes, but not really flashback, just, you know, different scenes that, that happened before. Like it's kind of pieces it together a little bit. Uh, that's done really, really well. The performance from the mother, really good. The performance from the daughter, really good, especially the daughter, because um, for being so young, she really nails it, nails it. Uh, and the the monster stuff, the, the horror aspect of the film, because this is a horror film, it definitely is. Uh, it's, it's really good, very suspenseful, but my main issue was there was moments in the film where I was like, don't do that. Or, like, I don't know if she should do that. It seems like the character might not do that. I don't know. And those were driving me crazy. I hate moments like that, especially in these films. I guess you kind of need them to move the story along and to push it along, but I just wish there would have been a more clever or more interesting way of tackling these situations and these encounters other than the character feel like feeling like maybe they're kind of dumb and, and doing stuff that could potentially end up getting them killed. Um, the film is still very strong. Based on those dramatic elements, it really adds to the suspense later in the film. Uh, and, you know, there, there are really good moments. I actually like the ending a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one 8 out of 10. Pretty solid watch. Highly recommend it. Check it out. There are just minor problems, flaws that keep it from being, you know, a super, super good movie. So check it out. The Monster. Pretty good.